You dare to disobey my orders? I'm the Admiral. You dare to push me around? I'm the Captain. This vessel is my brainchild. <laughs> so I'm never out of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> so take that, and that, and that. Mutiny, mutiny, I'll have you hang from the halyards. I'll have you battered with belaying pins. Set to the fishes. Boxed by the compass. Caught by the catwalk. Keel hauled. Gentlemen, hold it. Lay off and desist. <laughs> desist yourself. <laughs> So. Yeah, who says so? All right, just for that, you can both cool off in the break. <laughs> and you can follow them, Mr. Morton. <laughs> well, that's all, gentlemen. Thank you. Safe and eat. Chief to Captain Crane. Stores are all aboard, sir. We're ready to sail. Very well, Chief. This is the captain. All hands to duty stations. Prepare to get underway in 30 minutes. Aye, sir. Thanks for coming aboard and entertaining us, Professor, because it was wonderful. Oh, thank you. Those uh, dolls you were using are very realistic. Oh? Uh -huh. You mean these? But, but no, those are not the ones. Oh, yes, indeed they are, Admiral. The facial resemblance is an ingenious makeup that I just wipe off. Uh, do you need any help to pack up? Thanks, no. My dolls are no problem. Well, let us know as soon as you're ready, and we'll have your gear taken ashore. Thank you. Isn't it time, Professor? Very nearly time. Nearly. But not quite yet. Soon? Yes, soon. Very soon. Starring Richard Basehart. And David Hedison. Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. Great salary, you sure, sir. Many thanks. Oh, and you, sir, you sure gave us a good laugh. <laughs> good luck, you, sir. Thank you. The Admiral, sorry he couldn't see you out personally. We're having a little trouble with the engineering circuits. Anything serious, Captain? Oh, no. More annoying than serious. It won't keep us from sailing. Oh, uh, sir. Mm. Excuse me. Uh, I've been thinking about this trouble we're having. Remember we were rewiring the conduits near the armory? Maybe that's where the trouble is. Right. Uh, check it out as soon as we get underway. Aye, aye, sir. Captain Crane. Attention, Captain Crane. This is Nelson. Please report to the circuitry room. Admiral, I'll be right there. Sorry, Professor. Don't worry, Captain. I can find my way out. I hope we meet again. I'm sure we will. Right. for something? No, no, not a thing. Well, uh, then, uh, why did you ask me to report to you here? Well, I didn't. You checked out G-Sec again. Yes, sir, the trouble isn't there. Mm -hmm. Then try K-4 and keep at it. All right, sir. And now that you're here, got any ideas? Uh, yes, sir, the uh, chief thought it would be a good idea if we check out the uh, new wiring job around the armory. 
Mm. Well, maybe worthwhile. I'll get the blueprints from my cabin and um, might as well get underway. Hi, sir. Patterson. Yes, sir. The, uh, the Admiral did call me on the intercom, didn't he? Well, not from here he didn't, sir. I was with him all the time. Oh. Okay, thanks. Crane. Go ahead, Chief. I'm down here in the armory, sir, and uh, supply locker five is loaded with dolls. Dolls? Uh, yes, sir, dolls. The hand talking kind, like the professor was using. Then the uh, professor must have left them aboard. Uh, yes, sir. It uh, sure looks that way, sir. Yes, sir. All right, Chief. Just leave them there. We'll handle it. Aye, sir. His crate weren't sure, sir. I saw it to it myself. Mm, but uh, obviously, his dolls weren't in the crane. You better take care of it, Chip. I am. Sparks, get inner allied headquarters. Tell them to contact Professor Multiple and say we have his puppets. Right away, sir. others to grow, too. Yes, and to do their job. Everybody up. Wake up. Time to wake up. Go on. Wake. Wake. Captain to Mr. Morton, come in. Armory report. Armory report. Steady as you go. Good work, Professor. Watch it. Here comes the captain. Professor, what are you doing here? Well, it was a stupid mischance, Captain. Uh, you had to leave the control room, remember? And, well, I thought I could find my way out, but I, I got lost. And so I found my way back here, and I was just uh, locating myself when Mr. Morton came in. Well, I see. Well, where's the chief? I haven't seen him. That's why I started to call you. Then the intercom went out. He said he'd found puppets in Locker 5. Empty. Puppets? Well, if they were my puppets, then they must be found, because I can't lose my puppets. All right, Professor, don't worry. If they're aboard, we'll find them. Radio shack to Captain Crane. Now, yes, Marks? I contacted Inter-Allied Headquarters, sir, about Professor Multiple. They report he's just been murdered. Are you, uh... Are you sure that's what they said? 
Yes, sir. Found shot in his apartment just 10 minutes ago. I have all the details. Uh, all right, Sparks, sir. I'll talk to them. What was that all about, Lee? Yes, after all, I... I thought that I was Professor Multiple, but if I'm dead, well, then who am I? That's a good question, isn't it? And where are my dolls? And where's the chief? Say, Chief, I heard you found the professor's dolls, huh? Did you hear that he was shot? Chief, what's the big idea clobbering Patterson that way? All he said was that he... Contact headquarters again. Let them figure it out. That sounds reasonable, Captain. Yes. Let them figure it out. If they can. Oh, you're here, Chief. I thought we'd lost you. What happened to those dolls? Aren't they still in the closet? Not now, they're not. A professor. But inner allied said, get them back. I'll speak to them. Yes, sir. This is RNC view calling inner allied headquarters. Come in, inner allied. Do you read me? SSRNC view calling inner allied headquarters. What's the matter? SSRNC view to inner allied headquarters. Do you read me? We've lost contact, sir. Keep trying. is caught in a current that is irresistible. You won't pull away. How would you know what we'll do? Because as of now, this ship is ours. Yours? Exactly. You won't pull away. Engineering. All back full. All back full. Engineering, report! They hear you, but nobody will obey you. The professor is right. Nobody will obey you. Chip, get down to engineering on the double. See what's going on. You can't fight us, Captain. Us? Who are you? Perhaps you will know later, when we are through with you. Them. 
Mr. Vance. Send out security details. Arrest Admiral Nelson and Captain Crane. Professor says it's an irreversible current. It's like uh, some magnetic force is just pulling us along. Yeah, we're still descending. Another 10 minutes, we might reach crush depth. B detail, search the hold. F detail, the missile chamber. He sounds like a company commander. A company of what? Dolls, puppets, but somehow he's managed to make them assume human shape. But who is he? Well, at least we know he's not the real Professor Multiple. He's dead. What do you mean he's dead? Well, we just got a report from into Allied headquarters. He's been murdered. Well, whoever he is, we've got to pull out of this current. All right, Admiral, look. I'll go to the circuitry room. I'll try to change the control to pull us away, all right? Good. Mm -hmm. Until I'll try to find out where our real crew is. Right. The hole is empty. Search further. Find those men. <laughs> Chief, Chief. It's like the whole crew's asleep. It is. Except for the captain, but he'll be sleeping soon. You see, there was a dome for each of the crew, including you. I'm it. Now look, I, um, I, I don't know what you are or how you can talk, but uh, I do know that this current is going to carry us to crush depth. Crush depth? Dear, dear. I don't understand these technical terms. Uh, you're going to find out soon enough. What, what is causing this current? All in good time, Admiral. All in good time. Uh, time's running out. You're going to start answering some questions. Make any headway, then? None. What about the crew? Uh, they're sleeping as though they've been drugged. That uh, talking pup that was there almost got my hand. We gotta break out of here. I'll give you a hand. That time. Uh -huh. 
How do we fight these things? I'm not sure, but maybe, maybe this gave us a clue. You mean fire? Ah, the side of flames, they panicked. Uh, if you can manage to get to the armory. And get the flamethrower. Right, right. Well, first of all, come to my cabin. We'll make an overall plan. <coughs> Close to see you is the crush depth. Any thoughts? Something out there is causing that current that we might be able to destroy it with a laser beam. But the beam from the observation knows we never reach it. I might if you could fake them out of position. How? But get on the intercom from the missile room. Let them know you're there. Distract them. If I can get to the nose before they spot me, we might have a chance. Here. Keep in touch. Give me about uh, two minutes. Right. Professor Multiple. This is Captain Crane. Can you hear me? I hear you, Captain. Where are you? In the missile room. I'm putting an end to your plans. I am blowing up the sea view from here. Don't be hasty, Captain. I'm sure we can effect a compromise. I doubt it. Why should you? I haven't put you to sleep yet, have I? We can work together. Let's call a truce and talk things over. No way, Professor. I'm blowing up the submarine. After it. All hands to the missile room. We don't pull out of this current. Seaview is going to be crushed. You mean my deadly dolls will die? There'll be nothing left. Sorry, Admiral. But since dolls don't live, they couldn't care less about dying. All right. But you're human. You see that light? In one minute, Seaview is going to implode. Too bad. You're, you're a puppet too. Right, he is. And puppets don't die. But even if you can't die, the ship will be crushed. Is that what you want? No. Well, then let me fire the beam. That won't be necessary, Admiral. The current is under control. You see, your ship is needed. By whom? By the masters of the future, of course. Anybody knows that. Everybody knows the masters of the future. 
puppets? The machines we puppets obey. Oh, machines. Man created machines on the Earth. Out in the galaxies, vaster and greater machines were built. Machines that became greater than their creators. Then a machine caused this current. See for yourself. Sounds almost as though it were alive. You might call it that. It is what brought us here. But for what reason? Tell him. Tell him. What have we to lose? What indeed? You are looking at the heart of the control machine. Unfortunately, its outer shell dissolved coming through space. Like a hermit crab, it needs a new shell before taking its next giant stride. Oh. Oh, and obviously, Seaview has been chosen to fulfill this purpose. Obviously. Mm -hmm. Careful, there, fellow. Careful, careful. Let him try. Oh, dear me, how foolish. How headstrong. Oh, really, too bad. Too bad, too bad, too bad. Don't give it a thought. He isn't dead. What was that? Nothing but the faintest zephyr of the power which is out there. Who stopped? Of course. Oh, well, this is the end of the journey. For the sea view, yes. And presently for you. <laughs> why presently? Why, why not right now? Because you designed and built this craft. I want your knowledge. You will live. Till you're no longer needed. And of course, I take your place. I take it. I, I, I. And, and until then? Until then, you will be kept out of harm's way. Take him to his cabin and lock him up. Watch him now. Watch him. This is a smart cookie. Slippery, slippery. You three, find the captain. We know by now that he will never work with us. Put him to sleep. Yes, yes, sleep. It'll be good for him. A long, long sleep. All right, back to work, the rest of you. Check out the other compartments, Patterson. You go with Burns down this corridor.
Yeah, yeah, no. I heard most of what's been going on. Well, then you know I'm locked in my cabin. You think you can get here? I'm on my way. I still say a laser beam is the only answer. But you can't get to the observation nose again. I mean, there's a laser in the flying sub. If I can get her launched and hit that thing with all the power that she carries. But if that current's strong enough to draw a sea view, it could hold a flying sub like a magnet. You'd be trapped. Oh. Uh -huh. But a remote control power charge could break me loose. <sighs> well, we're back to where we started. The remote control power switch is in the control room. Right. That's why you have to be in there. Now, uh, how could I be in there? There's a Captain Crane there already, isn't there? Hmm? Let's go.
the captain. There's nothing left of him. One of ours burned too. Search every corner, every closet. Control room to multiple. The flying sub has left the ship. Come on. Are you certain about the flying submarine? See there. It has to be the Admiral. They say whom the gods would destroy, they first drive mad. You mean it's the end of him? What else? What craft could survive that? What indeed? What indeed? What indeed? as far as he goes. Quite right. Quite right. As far as he goes. It's held there. What now? That is not for us to say. I'll be back. Pretty, isn't it? Had enough, Admiral? You fight well, but you never had a chance. No, never a chance. You're stuck here. For how long? How long is eternity? Good question, isn't it? How long is eternity? So that's the hermit cloud that needs my ship. What about the crew? Your crew will sleep, of course. They'll sleep forever. Forever. Lovely word, that. Forever. And mankind? Mankind has nothing to offer. It will sleep, too. Yes. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Well, then there's not much future for anyone, is there? None whatever. Too bad. Or is it? Another good question. Is it? Lee, this is Nelson. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? This is Nelson. You can speak, Captain. Let's hear what's on this fellow's mind. Go ahead, Captain. Go ahead, go ahead. Humor the Admiral. Speak to him. Captain to Admiral. I hear you. You are in the control room. I'm in the control room. An open box NC-5. Uh-oh. What's on your mind, huh? 
What's on your mind? Box number five. Yes, Admiral. Over the master control switch. Wait. Don't do anything. We have to learn about this ship. And he certainly can't harm us. Let us see what he has in mind. Lock the controls and all ahead flank. What have you done? What have you done? You're not my puppet. What have you done? I've thrown a nuclear charge through the hull and set it at flank speed. We'll blow your hermit crab head off. Throw that switch. It's locked. You can unlock it. Unlock, unlock it. it. Unlock, unlock it. it. Unlock, unlock it. it. Unlock it. Unlock it. What is this? What is this? We're going to see if this thing is really indestructible. You won't see it. Your submarine will hit this craft first. You'll be dead. Gone. And so will I. Whoops! Time is running out. How do you open it? How? Stop this ship. Stop it! Okay, Lee. The remote control power switch. Throw the switch, Lee. Now, will you open that box and pull that switch and reverse this craft? The entire crew woke up the minute Seaview destroyed our famous hermit crab. Oh. Well, what happened to the uh, to the professor and the, the dolls? Hmm. Well, take a look. So I never took your place, Admiral. Never had my chance. Too bad. Really too bad. Too bad. Too bad. Too bad. What do I do with them now? Burn them. 